Christmas I gave you my heart But the very next day you gave it away Hi guys, look at you here! Today it's snowing, which means we should make a warm bowl of clam chowder So, let's get to it! So we're gonna have to dice this patat. Bro, my neighbors are so loud. Shut up. I'm not even looking. Now we got some carrots. So this is what a red potato looks like if anyone cares. Wow, so red. And let's try it. I think it's sweeter. We got our croissant. By the way, what are your favorite Christmas songs? My favorite would be the Last Christmas song. I don't know by who, but it's like, Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. Very accurate, I know. All right, so we got our deep cut and we're gonna chop it up. Oh, what the? It's not very, ew. Okay. Now let's head to the stove. Meat meat. All right, so as we wait for this pot to heat up, it's time for Look At You Shout Out of the Week. This week's shout out goes to LeBron the Dog. Thank you, LeBron the dog, for always commenting, always liking my videos, and always supporting me. And if you Yay. want a shout out, all you need to do is hit that notification bell, like my videos, and comment down below nice things. But please, please, please don't ask for a shout out because I won't give you one if you ask for it. Thank you. So we're gonna add a pat of butter. Now we're gonna add our raccoon. Raccoon, raccoon. You can't even see anything. It looks like this. <laughs> I'm sure you all know what bacon frying looks like. This is what the onion, garlic, and bacon mixture looks like. Now we're gonna add in our weird looking carrots and our croissants. I'm just mixing it up. We're gonna put some, it said one third cup, but I don't know, this is half a teaspoon. I mean, one tablespoon. This is what the carrot, celery, blah, 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 mixture with the flour looks like. And I totally forgot. We need to open up these baby clam in a can. <laughs> Doesn't this look so appetizing? Yes. I didn't expect that much clam to come out. Okay. <laughs> what do I do with it? <laughs> Looks pretty gross. <laughs> so now we're gonna add the clam juice, the beautiful clam juice. Let's try it out. <laughs> Tastes like seawater a bit, a bit fishy. Okay. On top of the clam juice, we're gonna add some chicken broth. I don't know how much. And I think we have to add the patats now, so we're gonna add the patats. Oh yeah, also, one bay leaf. I don't know why they put it in a shaker, like how am I supposed to, am I gonna shake the bay leaf out? Ugh, so dumb. Boom. Nice and rainbowy. All we have to do is let it simmer for 15 minutes until the potatoes are nice and soft, just like you. Now we wait again until it's nice and thicker and then we add the clam meat. All right, so this is what the soup looks like right now. We're just gonna let it simmer for another 15 minutes until it's nice and thick. 
So I'll see you guys when it's almost done. All right, so after like half an hour, it is finally thick. And now we're gonna add our clams. Yum. You can see a bunch of clam in here. And since this is clam chowder, it wouldn't be complete without a bread bowl. So let's head to the assembly line unit thing. All right, so this is a freshly baked San Francisco style sourdough. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> As you can see, I have my chowder and we're just gonna fill her up. Ooh. We're gonna sprinkle it nice and evenly. And let's head to the mukbang. Wow. All right, so this is the finished product, and let's begin the mukbang. Ooh, oh my God, it's so thick. You guys see? Look how, look at that. All right, we're gonna try it out, cheers. probably the best chowder I've ever had and I've actually been to San Francisco and tried the chowder at the pier and this is I mean I was like 12 so maybe I, I can't really tell but I think it's pretty close mmm mmm the bacon bits are really good mmm it's super hot Okay, let's rip a piece. Because I know you guys all want to see that. Okay, cheers. Mm -mm. Sorry, I know my vocabulary only consists of mmms, but. I really want more of the bread, but it's hard to. Look at that. Very crispy. So the flavor. It's very, very creamy, even though I use half and half. You don't need heavy whipping cream for this. I taste the bacon, I taste the clams, and the potato. I don't really taste the carrots or the celery, which is pretty good, because I don't want to taste that, but. Mm. This gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week and please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys.